Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be making this strawberry glass cup right here. I've been seeing these all over TikTok and I've been dying to make one of my own and finally I got this beautiful vinyl from TechRap and decided it was time. And so if you guys are ready, let's get started. Here I am on Google and this is where I'm going to find my picture that I want to use. I'm just going to type out strawberry outline and go over to images. Once you're here, you decide whatever image you want to use. Um, I'm really excited for strawberry season. I love strawberries, so um, I wanted to do a cup. <laughs> and I'll make sure that um, if there's gaps like this, just know that you won't be able to layer them. Um, I do want to layer it, but I want to have like two different colors without the black outline. Um, I'll show what I mean in a bit, but um, I'm just going to find a good picture. And so I'm going to use this picture right here, so I'm just going to save it over to my images. Once it's saved, we're going to head over to Cricut Design Space, and here I'm going to enter a new project. Here on Uploads, I'm going to upload the image I just saved. I always like to use Complex, and here is where I'm going to clean up my image. But I want this whole stem part to be one piece. So in the erase part, I'm just going to delete a little part here. So that way it could be one piece. And now apply, continue, and save as a cut image. Now I'm going to add it to my canvas. And since TechRap sent me really cute pink and green colors, I wanted to just do um, two colors without the background, like I mentioned. So. I'm going to click on my image and head into contours. Here, I'm going to hide everything except for um, the first part on top right here without the background. And now I'm going to duplicate. And now I just want the bottom part. So again, go into contours. And I just want the bottom piece without the top. And we can cut out the little seats. Okay, and that way we just have two colors. Now I'm going to group everything. That way they don't move. And I did measure out my cup and it was about um, nine by four. So about this size right here. And so I'm just going to move my strawberry. And this is going to help me basically know how many strawberries I need. So I think this is how I want my pattern to look. Um, I just wanted strawberries all the way around, <laughs> something like this. Uh, so now I'm just gonna get rid of the background because that was just for my reference. And so right now, when we head over to make it, everything is gonna be cut individually like this. And I usually like doing this because I feel like it wastes less vinyl. That way you can move things around and then use the little scraps of pieces that you have around. If you wanted these pieces to stay where they are and not move, you would have to ungroup them. Okay, once everything's ungrouped, you have to just go by the colors. And so we can hide the pink and start with the green. Now we're just going to select everything and attach. Once that's attached, we just have to do the same thing for the green pieces. So we can hide this and bring back the green pieces. Make sure that you're not moving any of them. And so now select everything and we're going to attach that part. And so we basically attach the green with the green and the pink with the pink. And so now when we go over to make it, it's going to be in one full sheet. And that's if you didn't want your pieces to move around. Like I said, um, here you can see how much vinyl it's requesting um, versus how little it was at the beginning. 
And so it's up to you however you want to cut it. Like I said before, I feel the first way um, lets you save a little bit more vinyl versus this, where it's asking you to use um, this much. Uh, but you guys can cut this to whatever method works for you best. And now we can continue. Like I mentioned, I like using this this method better because we save a little bit more vinyl. So I'm just going to be moving my pieces a little bit lower. And so we're only going to need this much versus the other method. And so now it's just time to cut and vinyl settings. Here we have all our vinyl. And so these are the two colors I'll be using, Sweet Pink and Livable Green. I just think they are so beautiful and they are a matte color. So that's going to look so cool. And so these vinyls have protective layers, so make sure if you see this right here, you are looking for the protective layer and you need to remove it before you cut. And I also have this really handy squeegee here that they sent me, so make sure that you're pressing very firmly on your mat. Here I have my cup, and I've been wanting to try this out with these cups forever. These are the glass um, can cups that I've seen all over TikTok. I ordered these from Amazon, and it did come with the glass straw and lid, so I'm going to put that together once I'm done. And so to prep the outside, I'm just going to go ahead and get a cotton ball and some alcohol and just wipe the outside. So now I'm just going to be placing this how I made them in my template. And so here we have the finished product and this is permanent vinyl so it will stick, you don't need to seal it. Just make sure that you hand wash this gently and don't let it soak. I'm really enjoying using this tech wrap vinyl, it is so easy to weed and to work with. And if you guys want to try this vinyl as well, don't forget there is code SILLYCRAFTING101 for extra savings at checkout. So if you like my video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.